y'all, Shafani Nicole here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to insert hyperlinks into your planner. Now, you can do this in your life planner, teacher planner, journals, it doesn't matter, it will work. So in today's video, I'm going to use the teacher planner because I did get this question on Etsy um, in regards to adding hyperlinks and could it could you do that? So the answer is yes, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say that your school uses something like SharePoint or Google Drive. You can insert a hyperlink to your lesson plans into your planner. OK, so for this example, we're just going to use Google Drive because I don't remember my SharePoint <laughs> password or anything. So for my school, we had to do Google Drive. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to do a split screen of this. So I'm going to pull up my Google Drive. All right, so I have my Google Drive pulled up and I'm actually going to switch sides. Now, if you don't have the Google Drive app, this still will work with the, um, if you were on like Chrome or Safari, so it'll still work. So let me go to my lesson plans. I'll just say search lesson plans. And there it is. And then here is mine. So I'm just going to choose one of these. Um, but these are all lesson plans here. I'm just going to choose this first one that I see. So I'm going to just tap on these three dots right here. And then I'm going to copy link. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it away because I don't need it. Then I'm going to tap on my toggle. And then the text box, let me make it bigger. I'm just gonna write in here, um, week four, oh, I tried it. <laughs> week four lessons. Okay, and then uh, I can fix this, oh, capital F. And then I'm just going to make it a little smaller like that. Then I'm going to um, tap on my text toolbox again. And this time I'm going to highlight everything by circling it like so. And you see that everything highlights. Now this will also work if you double tapped like that. And then I'm going to tap on link. And then I'm going to paste. So now you'll see that you're going to get this dotted line below it. That means it's linked. So now when I go to tap on it and I'm going to go back in toggle mode and then I tap on it, you're going to get this message and you're just going to tap on yes. And then here are my lesson plans. Voila. So that is how you create a hyperlink in your planner. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section or send me a message on Etsy. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye y'all.